The five second rule. Transform your life, work, and confidence with everyday courage by Mel Robbins. The five second rule is an easy technique that can help you change your behavior. One dark winter morning in Boston, Boston, at 6 a.m., Mel Robbins was jolted awake by her alarm clock. There were days when she welcomed the morning with a smile, but this morning was not one of them. She was jobless, struggling with money, and had a little bit of an issue with the juice. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a drinking problem. She often hit the snooze button to delay facing the day. However, this particular morning was different. Instead of snoozing, Robbins started her day by counting down from five. This technique, known as the five-second rule, helps prevent giving in to harmful impulses. So, rather than going back to sleep, Robbins counted quietly to herself, five, four, three, two, one. This easy act diverts your focus from your worries and guides your attention to what you should be doing, stopping you from yielding to tempting urges. By repeating this, you can break bad patterns and develop new, healthier habits. Robbins also applied the five-second rule to stop avoiding exercise and to motivate herself to jog regularly. And when she felt like procrastinating on updating her resume, she counted five, four, three, two, one, and got to work. This method is especially helpful if you are someone who waits for inspiration to hit. In 1954, psychologist Julian Rotter introduced a concept called the locus of control. It describes the belief people have about external forces controlling their lives and that individuals who feel more in control are usually more productive. We are often advised to watch for opportunities and seize them when they come. But better advice is to take charge of your own life and create opportunities for yourself. This would be having an internal locus of control. We feel powerful and confident and in control of our own life. Robbins refers to this as the power of the push. And the five-second rule might be just the push you need. The five-second rule can help you discover your inner bravery. On a chilly December night in 1955, Rosa Parks sat on a city bus and refused to give up her seat to a white man. This small act of defiance became a historic moment of immense courage in the fight for civil rights showing us that even minor actions can lead to extremely significant change. This idea is also what makes the five-second rule so effective. Counting backwards from five may not seem like a major lifestyle shift, but it can encourage you to be braver. Rosa Parks 
actions resulted in another small decision that would alter history. Four days after Park's arrest, people began organizing a boycott of segregated buses, and they wanted a 26-year-old preacher to be their protest leader. This preacher later wrote, quote, It happened so quickly that I did not have time to think it through. It is probable that if I had, I would have declined the nomination. That preacher was Martin Luther King Jr. Neither Parks nor King saw themselves as courageous in their daily lives, and their instincts did not lean towards fighting injustice. But that is exactly what they ended up doing. They both faced a moment when their instincts clashed with their beliefs and goals, and they experienced the power of the push. Many of us have instincts that urge us to play it safe rather than brave. But the five-second rule can provide just enough time to move towards the opportunities life has to offer. Each day gives us the chance to pursue greatness or stick to a familiar, ordinary routine. I'm just doing today what I did yesterday. If you want to live an extraordinary life, you need to decide to take five seconds to push yourself out of your comfort zone. There is no reason to view historical figures as fundamentally different from yourself. Rosa Parks was a shy, introverted woman, and Dr. King battled self-doubt. They managed to push past their fears, and you can do the same. Stop waiting for the perfect moment and start chasing your dreams now. If you want to change how your coworkers see you, all you need to do is speak up during a meeting and share your thoughts. If you want to brighten someone's day, hey, a little compliment and smile never hurt anyone. These actions only require a decision which you can easily postpone by telling yourself, ah, you know, we'll do that tomorrow. Eventually, this becomes your life's story, always waiting for tomorrow. How about we change that up a little bit and we start living our life, the life we were meant to live, today. So why not take this very moment the one you have been waiting for, and let the five-second rule be the tool that helps you make the choices you have always wanted to make. Nobody dreams of being someone who didn't do or accomplish anything. But we often wait for the right time. You know, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the right time. Well, you know what? What if the right time never comes? What if there's never a perfect situation? According to a recent survey, 85% of professional service employees hold back feedback from their managers because it isn't the right time. Even the most talented people need a little push to get on the right path because it is never the right time. There is only now. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple, was filled with doubt after he and Steve Jobs were offered funding to start their own business in 1977. Wozniak wanted to wait 
and worried about leaving his day job until his friends persuaded him to take the leap. Wozniak reaped the rewards available to those who stop playing the waiting game. Author E.L. James did not wait for a profitable publishing deal before writing the immensely popular Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. She was a working mother with a passion, and she created her own opportunity. She self-published the book, and she managed to write it in her spare time. Fifty Shades of Grey went on to sell a million copies in four days. But it would have never happened if she had not taken the initiative and said, now is the time. You cannot control your emotions, but you can always control your actions. Professional athletes inspire many people, and for good reason. They demonstrate what is possible when you dedicate your mind and body to intense training and practice. While some athletes may seem almost superhuman, their ability to push beyond the ordinary physical constraints comes from a simple trait. Despite feeling too tired to go on, an athlete can separate themselves from what they are feeling and keep running, swimming, cycling, pushing forward. Athletes understand that emotions are only suggestions. And sometimes it's best to ignore those suggestions, particularly when you are trying to win or achieve a personal goal of yours. This lesson is important as most of us base our decisions on feelings rather than goal-oriented logic. Doesn't it make more sense that we should base our actions on our goals and not, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just not really feeling it this morning. You know, it's just going to feel a little off, so I'm just going to watch TV all day. No, that's not the way we make decisions, is it? Neuroscientist Antonio Damasio found that emotions drive 95% of our decisions. So instead of thinking and acting, in reality, we feel and act. Part of Damasio's research involved people with brain damage who could not experience emotions, at least not in the way we would typically think of them. Although they could weigh the pros and cons of a choice, they were unable to make decisions. Damasio's work led him to believe that humans are not thinking machines that feel, but rather feeling machines that think. These individuals could think, but they couldn't feel, and that significantly impacted their ability to make a decision. With this understanding of how much influence your emotions have over your choices, you can apply the five-second rule. Instead of letting fears and worries prevent you from pursuing your dreams, catch yourself and take five seconds to make the decision that moves you closer to your goal. This approach is known as psychological intervention, which dates back all the way to Aristotle, who summed it up as, quote, do good, be good. In other words, you must change your behavior before you can change how you feel about yourself. The five-second rule is an effective tool because it focuses on doing just that. 
It alters your behavior and gives you the courage to overcome the psychological barriers in your way. The five second rule is a helpful tool in the fight against procrastination. There is an irony to modern technology like smartphones and tablets. They were designed to make us more productive, but they often end up distracting us and significantly increase our ability to procrastinate. However, there is a distinction between harmless procrastination and harmful procrastination. When we avoid getting things done, even when we know that serious consequences will follow, that is harmful procrastination. Experts used to believe that all procrastination resulted from poor time management, lack of willpower, and inadequate self-discipline. But now it is understood that procrastination is not just laziness, but also a side effect of how we handle stress. According to Timothy Peichel, a psychology professor at Carleton University, procrastination is a consequence of our strong subconscious desire for instant gratification. Since procrastination offers immediate, though temporary, relief from life's stresses, oh, you know, I'll just worry about it later, and I'm going to be in my little happy bubble for the moment. We are continually drawn to procrastination. The stress we want to escape from is not limited to work meetings or deadlines. Most of us face significant financial, and relationship problems that linger over us. It is just a fact of life. So pausing life to buy a new pair of shoes or play some video games is merely a way of your subconscious mind trying to ease that pressure, even if just for a little while. To resist the temptation of procrastination, use the five-second rule. Let it become your new, healthier habit. Since the best way to complete a task is to... <clears throat> sorry if this uh, sounds a little bit simple, but just get started, you will want to initiate the five second rule the moment you feel the urge to procrastinate or do something else. Once you start using it for this purpose, you will quickly improve your locus of control, moving it more inwards and gaining control over your life. After all, procrastination is just another way of surrendering your control. So instead, begin the countdown and regain control over your life. Do not regret the time spent worrying. Instead, get over it and redirect those emotions and start feeling grateful. There is no big secret as to why we often worry. As children, many of us were constantly told to worry by overly concerned parents telling us, oh, you know, be careful, Jimmy. Be, be careful, Sarah. You put a coat on. You're going to catch a cold. Come on. We're adults now. Unfortunately, as a result, we have become adults who spend way too much time worrying about these little things beyond our control. The truth is, we will likely regret all this time spent worrying about little minor issues and never following our dreams. 
A Cornell University professor, Dr. Carl Pilmer, has spent over 10 years discussing life's meaning with more than 1,200 senior citizens. Through these conversations, one thing has become clear. Most seniors believe they have wasted too much time worrying. Life is too precious and short to spend living in fear and anxiety. So before you regret another minute, use the five-second rule to take control and live life to the fullest. Pay attention to your mood. And when you feel your mind beginning to worry, Take five seconds to calmly count down to regain control of your life. In your five-second countdown, once you reach one, ask yourself these two questions. What am I grateful for right now? And what do I want to remember? Answering these questions will help you shift your focus from worry to the more uplifting and positive aspects of life. Remember, there are genuinely important and precious parts of your life, like your relationships and the things you are working on that you are passionate about. So use the five-second rule to remind yourself of the bigger picture. Nothing is set in stone. Your habits, your mindset, your personality traits are all flexible, and you can change them. Once you realize this, your life can start changing for the better but only if you take control. The five second rule can help you adjust your default reactions. By altering the way we make decisions, this small act can accumulate to redefine who you are, how you feel, and what you do with your life. Are you ready for the five second rule? Five, four, three, two, one, go. This concludes the five second rule.